Impossible Project is about looking through the layers of time and seeing into the past and enabling the gathering of images from the past with images of the present, putting them together to produce uh, an archive that will uh, enhance our investigations of the city and I think um, restore our pride in some of, uh, of lost Melbourne. It will also surprise you because uh, you'll find that uh, using the app that we propose, you'll be able to uncover things that you didn't know existed in Melbourne and investigate it for yourself. The ideas really come from Greg. Um, Greg, you've got come up with this idea of re-photography as a way of looking into the past. Tell us a little bit about uh, Looking about at that. the work of Mark Strizik, who was a great photographer of Melbourne, a, a European immigrant who came here in the late 1940s and established himself as a commercial photographer specialising in architectural subjects. Uh, worked with Robin Boyd, the great Australian architect, great Melbourne architect, um, and looking at his old photographs of, of streets in Melbourne, particularly the central business district, Collins Street, mm. which he photographed a lot, and thinking about what it would be like to shoot in the exact same location as, as Struzzi did. And so I, I've done a little bit of that and, and found the exact locations of some of his photographs and, and reshot there. And, and this is a re-photography project, so it's a comparison. You compare uh, Strizik's photographs from uh, 50 years ago to your photographs today, mm -hmm. and it's striking the difference. Even when the buildings and the architecture and the street hasn't really changed, the culture has changed, the people have changed, the, the, feeling, the, the feeling on the street is different. And it's quite a striking experience mm -hmm. to enter into that sort of time machine that re-photography can do. This is the app that we propose to build. It'll locate each physic photograph on a map of Melbourne, help you to find the angle that he used, and then superimpose his image over the top of your camera view on your viewfinder. This way, you'll be able to line up the buildings and the street accurately and recreate the scene that he took, allowing us to see how it looks now. We're looking for people interested in architecture. We're looking for photographers that are excited about the idea of uh, repeat photography. And we're also interested in interpretations that you might make creative interpretations of this process of re-photography. Come and join us in building this app and starting on this journey of re-photography of Melbourne and its contribution to research that the richness of visual images brings 